Hey, this is Megan Davies, and you're watching Total Entertainment. Um, so I, uh, yeah, I think we're, we're trying to see as much as possible. I've, I really never spent much time abroad going, growing up. So whenever I go on tour, it does feel like a mini vacation in a way. And, uh, I think we're trying to see some castles at some point. Um, I really, I mean, I spend, you know, like tonight we're in Manchester and we spent pretty much all day walking around and seeing Piccadilly Gardens and, and we went to uh, an art museum. We went to see uh, this really cool old library. Um, I forget the name of it. Um, but yeah, just trying, you know, as many new things as possible. That's what's so great about getting to travel internationally. Okay. So. That was definitely the dream. Um, I don't know if I expected it to happen, but that's always been one of my dreams. And um, even after, because I, I studied music in college, and when I graduated, I remember <laughs> wanting to travel a little bit, but at the same time, I was like, no, I'm going to wait until like my job or my music lets me travel like to those countries. And, and, and it did happen, and, and I'm happy that uh, I kept the belief going to allow me to do it. So. I, the way I prepare for like crazy things like that is I um, don't think about it until literally the second that I'm like about to do it. Really? <laughs> That's my like mental game I play. I just blank. I, for some reason I'm able to do that. I don't think about it at all. And um, I think about anything else but it and until I'm standing in front of Zac Efron. And then at that point you really don't have a choice. Like it's like you can't freeze up. So you just do it. <laughs> But uh, that's that's how I get through those moments. <laughs> um, that was definitely one of those moments, I would say, <laughs> that felt very surreal. Um, YouTube's a funny thing because from my perspective, um, you know, shooting videos and recording music in, in Nashville, it's very... You know, it's, it's, it's in the same place that I went, I went to college, you know, it, I don't... It doesn't feel as um, as international as yeah. as you would think, just because it's half the time it's me sitting in front of a computer editing a video. Um, so, but those types of moments are very strange, like you know, seeing like a movie star in real life or getting yeah. to walk like a red carpet or like, and there's they're very few and far between. It's not a whole lot of what I spend my time doing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's 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 very very surreal. Um, Yeah, it was. It's cool. I mean, it's still awesome when I see those numbers. Um, I remember I, I had released like one or two just like random kind of videos of, of me performing, you know, in front of my computer, and it wasn't until I started doing these like little music videos with my sister. Um, I think the first one got maybe a thousand views, and I was like, whoa, this. I feel like I'm on to something. And I remember I shared it on Facebook at the time, and it was the first thing I noticed that like a friend shared it and then a friend of a friend who didn't yeah. know me shared it and I'd, I'd always had like supportive friends and family but uh, that was the first time I noticed that happening and just that kind of like I had a little bit of a light bulb moment of like huh this is something's working something's moving um, but it was never like overnight it was always very gradual but I remember the little signs like that were really exciting so. So many good ones. Lots of Disney movies. Um, not the music involved in that. My parents weren't musicians, but um, they always, you know, had music playing. And um, I remember being obsessed with the Spice Girls. So <laughs> my five-year-old self would be very excited to know that I ended up, you know, I'm playing music in the UK where the Spice Girls were. I'm sure. Um, I mean, I went through all this, all the phases, all the pop music phases. I loved listening to the radio, loved listening to what I'm sure, you know, cringe-inducing to some people, but I, I ate it all up. I just loved pop music, so. Um, I think, uh, Baby was my favorite, um, although I loved all of them. I, I think I went to Scary Spice for Halloween once when I was, when I was younger. Um, I had like a leopard print costume and 
I, I loved her. Uh, <laughs> I yeah, I, I I really loved all of them together. That was yeah. what was so great about it is they they all had like their own individual personalities and yeah. So. Oh, I've gotten some some amazing um, just stories of people who've related to that song. Um, it's funny, I, it wasn't necessarily written as, as anti-bullying originally. Um, it was really just written from my, my own experience in high school and of not a take of, of um, everything feeling so huge and impossible and, and difficult and being so insecure and, and you know, that's, that's really where I, I was in high school. It was not a fun time for me. So um, that, that's where that song came out of. and. Um, then we ended up filming this music video and, and the director of that video had he he listened to that and saw his story which was you know of him you know afraid to take his shirt off at the pool for you know afraid to get of getting bullied and and you know learning as he was getting older how how to be confident in, in himself yeah. and um so he instead of filming my story we ended up filming his story because we we're like there's so many different stories that apply yeah. to it why why just stick to my story and um and it's amazing how many people have listened to that and really felt um, connected to it. And, and there's been a lot of stories, whether it's you know about bullying or, or other things that have been um, connected to it. So it's it's really it's been cool hearing from many different people. It, it's honestly one of the most magical parts of what I do. Um, mm -hmm. Hearing those like individual uh, stories about about how something's helped them or just how people relate it to them. Yeah. Um, just because I grew up relating to songs and yeah. to me that's just the coolest part about what I do. So. Um, oh that's a good question. That's, I, I rather just, I, I, I still just want to be that. Like yeah. I just, I want to travel the world and play my guitar and play my songs for people. Yeah. That's the core of everything. That's like what drives everything. Um, there is a business side to it now. Um, as soon as it started getting too businessy, that's honestly when I started handing things off to people yeah. like a little bit. Um, one of my best friends uh, manages me. Yeah. Um, you know, so that was something that was really easy. Like it was, it was very natural. Like it didn't feel like um, as music business like. It was just like a friend of mine who wanted to help in any way possible and, and saw what I was trying to do and wanted to be a part of it. And so it's, it's been nice. I have more than ever been able to focus on just the creative side of things and you know let other people focus on the money side, I guess. Yeah. So most of my mashups are done with other people. Yeah. So that's also, um, interesting uh, like or a, a bit of a, a difference um i do write songs with other people sometimes as well uh co-writing a huge part of, of living in nashville it's um just a really unique creative thing that comes with a lot of musicians being in one place um yeah i think the mashups there's a bit more um fun like i don't i don't you know i the mashups really started with with me and my sister just kind of having fun and i feel like it's still there's still an element of that i mean it's just we don't we don't take ourselves too seriously with it um on the songwriting side you know it does get a bit more personal and and uh it's more of a, a reflection of like my own creative instincts so i want it to be honest and real and and there's a bit more pressure with that i would say um so they're very different, but I think I think it's nice that I have a little bit of both in my life. In my life, you know. Oh yeah, so let me tell you. <laughs> um, so I've I've been on the road quite a bit. I like to try out new songs on the road. Um, so probably recording a few of those new songs, depending on how they they feel um, live. Like tonight, I'll be playing some new songs. Um, you know, working on YouTube videos is the one thing I can't do as much of on the road. Um, so there'll probably be uh, a good amount of time spent on that and just, you know, keeping that part of my mm -hmm. life updated. Um, yeah, and I, honestly, I, I really love spending uh, time in London the past okay. week. Um, 
so there's a part of me that wants to go back and write some music there and just okay. hang out I, I that's honestly one of my favorite parts of what I do is I can mm -hmm. kind of go different places and be yeah. inspired and, and do things and um, yeah I mean the weather was really nice so <laughs> that might have been part mm -hmm. of it too um, <laughs> but yeah I, I'd really love to come back here and, and you know maybe work here and I do, I do the same thing out in California. Sometimes I'll go out there and you know write songs and all that. So yeah.